Hello comrades, so today we're gonna learn how to make unlock manifolds minigame from Among Us. So here is our game. We can press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Everything pressed correctly, restart the game. Or we can do 1, 2, 3, 9. It was wrong, restart the game, but show the player that he was wrong. And you can play unlimited amount of sessions with it. But of course, it's just for your education, so you can adjust it for your needs. So let's see how we do it. We need main camera and directional light, but that's not important. What's important is canvas. So we have a canvas. Then we have a background, which is this gray background. Let's see it in the scene. So we have gray background. Then we have blue background. Then we have buttons under it. And we have exactly 10 buttons. Keep in mind that, okay, we set the default color here, but we will set it from code later. We have the button transition set to none. So when the button is disabled, for example, it doesn't change the color. And buttons have grid layout group on it, where I set the size. Is correct so for me for example it's 260 by 270 with spacing of 30 so that's how it looks and i set the constraint to be fixed row count and we have two rows uh child alignment middle center so it starts here and it starts from upper left filling the grid that's more or less all we have so this background is just a panel so you go here game ui and panel wherever it is here and i just moved it from the corner so it's kind of a background for just the buttons and we have a script which is unlock manifold script this is basically all you need this small script here it is so here is the script. Let's go through it. We have two lists for buttons. One just buttons. This is basically our buttons here. And shuffle buttons. That's where we keep the buttons which were shuffled. Because every time we start a game, we just shuffle the buttons. So we can put the random numbers on them. Counter. We basically want to keep track of which button is pressed in the sequence. So we, if we press the correct button, we increase the counter until we reach 10. In the beginning, we just restart the game. This is a function that we will create and it just resets the game session so we can start from the beginning. Let's look closer at this restart the game. So we have a counter. We have to reset the counter to zero. Then we have to do one smart thing using link queue. So you would have to have using system link queue for that. What it does, it orders the buttons list and it orders it using a seed which is random from 0 to 100. So every time you run this function, it takes the buttons, it orders them in random sequence and saves it to shuffle buttons. Then from i equals to 1, i less than 11. What we have to do, we have to assign the text for each of our shuffled button so we take the button with index i minus minus one so it will be from zero to ten well from zero to nine but well, that's fine then we get component text on it because we can see that our button it has text under it which says one here for example you can also steal my settings i have font size 150 but I bet you can do it on your own. It's just setting up the text size. And you set the text on it to our index, which will be from 1 to 10. Then we set the state of the button to interactable, so the button is pressable. And we set our initial color of the button. So it's this light blue. And yeah, this is this color. You can make your own, 
it has to be color 32 if you write from 0 to 255 format let's go next one press button this is a function that gets called from every single button so here is the button there is on click what you have to do you have to drag your script which is i put it on canvas so here is my script i dragged it on canvas i dragged all the buttons here by the way the easiest way to do it is just lock it then go to buttons select all the buttons and drag them and drop them this will just fill the list with all the buttons together and don't forget to unlock it so each button has to have a reference here then we go unlock manifolds and press the button press button and it has to reference the button here so here you can see when i click it here highlights which button is referenced and this highlights which script is referenced you have to do it for every button and once you did it you can look at the code so what we do this is the button that's passed here so here we have a reference to this button and this one is the one that we get as a parameter here so we take the text from this button minus one we first have to convert it from string to int we do it using int.parse and then as a parameter we send the text so for example for the button one it will be one minus one so zero and check if it's equal to counter which is zero in the beginning so if we clicked on the button one this value will be zero and since the counter is zero that means that this is the first button and we click the correct one we increase the counter so the next correct button will be two which is minus one equals one and it will be equal to counter which will be equal to one next turn we set the button to non-interactable so interactable to false basically so you can't click it again we set the color to green so player has an indication that he pressed the correct button and we check if we won basically if counter reaches 10 then we have to present the result which is for us just waiting for two seconds we do it in coroutine which is called present result and we just write start coroutine present result and we pass a parameter if we won or not so in this case we pass true and in case we didn't satisfy this condition so in case we press three for example and the counter was zero then this number will be two with minus one including and three not equal to zero we go here so we lost we present result and winning was false so this is the coroutine that we call for winning we check if we lost so if we did not this means not win then for each shuffle button we set the color of this button to red and we make it unpressable by setting interactable state to false then we wait for two seconds and we restart the game that's all you need to make your mini game from among us working here is all the code you can stop at any moment the video and copy it and let's just see again how it looks like so if you like this video please subscribe i really appreciate some likes and comments and some discussion so if you want to see more games copied any effects that you want to make but don't know how just ask me and i will figure out something i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one